What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best big man build in NBA 2K19 and it feels so weird to be saying NBA 2K19 instead of NBA 2K18 but anyway let's get into the video. So I literally spent 30 minutes trying to find a build to make because originally I was going to make a pure stretch big but they kind of nerf stretches and if you make a 7 foot 3 center with max wingspan you're gonna get a 76 3 at max like when you're 99 overall so because of that i didn't want to make a stretch and then from there i was gonna make a pure glass cleaner like that would probably be the best way to win but it's not really the best way to have fun and i want to produce some really good content for you guys this year so i decided to create a really fun build a really entertaining build and a build that fits my play style so because of that I threw away the idea of the glass cleaner and also I was gonna make a center but power forwards are just so much better like they have so much better badges and if you go from seven foot three to seven feet tall you get about 30 speed because a seven foot three player has about 30 speed and then a seven foot tall player can have around 60 speed depending on the archetype and also the acceleration goes up the lateral quickness goes up and the vertical goes up so it'll be easier to get rebounds and the driving dunk goes up so it's not like you're just going to be standing in the paint dunking you can actually drive and dunk so once i decided on a seven foot tall player i was going to go glass cleaner primary and then maybe shot creator secondary but the mid range doesn't go up enough and actually i found a build that's a lot more entertaining than the glass cleaner which is the post scorer and i've never had a post scorer in 2k surprisingly in 2k 18 i just had a slashing rebounder and in 2k 17 i had a pure glass cleaner and a pure stretch big as big men so i haven't had a post scorer but i've always had post moves in my game like if you guys watch my videos you guys know i do a lot of post moves even though i've never had a post scorer so i decided to make that since that goes with my play style and as my secondary archetype i actually chose passing and ball handling and i know you might think this is stupid but the badges on this player is amazing you get gold dimer you get gold relentless finisher you get gold drop stepper it's crazy my passing accuracy when i hit 99 overall it can go up to 81 and right now it's 76 as an 85 overall so that's really good especially if i were to get a rebound and throw the ball when my teammates are on the fast break that would help a lot and i love to pass the ball i love to score but at the same time i'm a pass first player like if i see my teammate open i'm gonna pass because over everything i love winning and i was considering making a pure post score but i would rather have a build that fits my play style a little more because i just love to pass so much i love setting my teammates up for open shots and i forgot to mention that this build also has gold lob city passer which will be pretty awesome especially if i'm playing with slashers and this build does have i think 11 gold badges and 10 silver badges so if i were to get to 99 overall which i'm gonna actually try to do this year i would have 11 hall of fame badges and 10 gold badges and then i think there are eight bronze badges which would all go to silver so that would be pretty dope and my post fade it can max out at an 80 88 something like that and i was gonna put rebounding as a secondary but the secondary build doesn't do that much this year like i was trying to put stretch big as my secondary build so i could be able to shoot but secondary build is less for attributes and it's more for badges so my attributes right now i have a 59 mid range which won't go that high but it won't really matter because i can do post fades post hooks and my three pointers are 57 that doesn't matter as much either I have an 87 standing layup which is really good off the bat 76 standing dunk and 74 contact dunk which means i think i can get contact dunks right now i think all you need is a 50 driving dunk and a 75 standing dunk for big man contact dunks so like i said my passing is a 76 already which is really good my post scoring is an 83 and it maxes out at an 88 rebounding i think it maxes out at 81 but they said this year as long as you box out you'll be fine and since i had a glass cleaner or at least i had a rebounding as my primary archetype in 2k 17 and 18 so i have a lot of experience with rebounding boxing out stuff like that so i think i'll be fine with the 75 rebound my defense is not the best right now but my shot contest where's that it's a 68 right now i think it maxes out at a 76 which isn't the best but 
I think my defense is pretty good, especially on other big men, so I think I'll be fine with that. And right here, my speed is a 58 instead of being like a 28 or something like that. Because if I were 7 foot 3, it would be so low. So that's why 7 foot power forwards are a lot better this year for most builds. Unless you're going to be maybe a pure post scorer or a pure athletic finisher, 7 3 might be better depending on your play style. But I'd rather have more vertical and agility over three inches of height and then last but not least my strength is an 81 and it maxes out at an 88 so that is pretty dope it'll be lower than all the other post scores and glass cleaners i don't think they'll be able to body me too much so i think i'll be fine with that and yeah that's my player as you can see he's seven feet tall 275 pounds i actually maxed out his weight which lowered his speed a little bit, but it's still a 58. Like if I were 7'3 and would max my weight, that would be so much worse. So uh, right now, I'm going to go buy some more clothes. That's going to be it for the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to be posting some tutorials during the first week, like maybe badge tutorials on how to get certain badges. And then from there, I'm going to be doing a lot of challenge videos. I'm going to be doing NBA players at the park videos, a bunch of lit videos. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think of this build. I know it's a little weird because passing and ball handling is the secondary build, but it gets such good badges. Like last year, I wouldn't have made this build because Dimer was like a bronze or a silver badge or something like that. But now it's actually gold and gold Dimer is amazing. So once again, let me know what you guys think of this build down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Expect a face cam video for the next video. This was just a build video, so I didn't put my face cam in it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.